there's a natural conception that perception is truly reality. The older I become, I see that it's all fallacy. Looking into a mirror, I saw him staring back at me. What a tragedy. Even he was too dark to see. So unbeknownst to the world, he committed a fatality. There's a true reality. On a train, he sat quietly. His appearance drew the ire in me. How can this take place? You see the thought of me having to keep such company. I could feel the glares of the world on me, so I had to remain calm because I didn't want him to see. The perception which I had conceived only left me fuming and peeved. I can't close my eyes right now because this guy's gonna take from me somehow. So I had to remain awake and alert even though my eyes hurt and I figured it wouldn't be long before one of us would sing an awful song. Our train made its next to last stop and this cat quickly jumped up and off and I thought to myself, what the heck? How can someone have so many tattoos covering their head, arms, lips, and neck? How can I get out of all of this without having to use my fists? Like I'll do that right there. <laughs> the answer quickly came in the form of a gesture. A gesture which soon squashed all the pressure. You see, I'd already dropped the hammer and sent this cat to a lifetime in the slammer forgetting about how the world perceived me. You see y'all, perception isn't always reality. The gesture would stop the pressure was great. It had been a long time since I had ate and it was getting late. Would you like something to tide you over, he asked. And then, just then, my spirit had gasped. I can't possibly take your can of your food, do I reply, simply to save face and savor my pride. He insisted and persisted, and a moment or two later, candy and food were passed. And I quickly grabbed those items out of his grasp, and I thought to myself, how did all this time pass? Then I realized no one is automatically your friend, so the question is, when did perception begin? I asked him his name, and he looked at me twice, once for good measure, and now because I was acting quite nice. He gave me his name, and a second later, our conversation began until it got later and later. Our train made its final stop, and I watched this cat slowly walk off, and I thought to myself, Without Snicker Allen, I would have remained trapped by my perception and my own brain Snicker Allen.